she promises a beautiful world with this first prelude, but you don't exactly get that. You get 24 different uh, pictures of a different state of mind, a different experience of life, and he touches so many different aspects of his life, and actually he explores human suffering. We expect a beautiful world, but instead we get threat, we get death, we get the consciousness of fight, of difficulty to overcome in life. So light and darkness, these two concepts are very much present into the preludes all the time. Hope and despair, all put together maybe in even one page. The intensity that he creates in these preludes is so unique. Uh, it's distilled emotion. Chopin puts everything he had in his mind, in his heart, into these uh, pieces. And um, the concentration of emotion is sometimes unbearable, I have to say. But he invites you to be completely pure, completely essential, and to be in touch with the real truth of being a human being. He doesn't describe a landscape, he doesn't describe story. The story he talks about is his own story, it's the human story that we all feel related to. That's why it's so moving and so deeply touching, uh, because when you play these preludes, you simply feel that you are observing as a movie uh, his, his own life, his sufferings his doubts, his hopes, his loves, his tenderness, everything. It was a dream come true to record these preludes. And, um, you know, it's a work that I have been, I, I respected so deeply all my life that I never thought I, I was going to be able to, to be courageous enough to afford it and record it. But, at, at this point of my life, I said, I have to give it a go. And um, it was a very enriching experience for me. And I think this music will still grow in my being, in my life, uh, until my last days.